What began as a mystery is turning into outrage this morning after dozens of wild horses rounded up by the Bureau of Land Management have died. An unknown disease has now killed at least 85 of these horses in a facility in Canyon City. That's out of 2,500 horses there total. Oh. This morning, we're taking a 360 in-depth look at the problem. We will walk you through the new investigation that is underway into these deaths, and we could learn more and we'll dive into the history of wild horse roundups, why the BLM says they're necessary, but some environmentalists disagree. We're also sharing some of your thoughts after we've received hundreds of emails and comments about this. Denver 7's Jessica Crawford starts our coverage, and Jessica knew this morning we're hearing from the state veterinarian about this. That's true. The state veterinarian is sharing what led up to that disease outbreak and how they're trying to contain it now. Colorado State Vet Dr. Maggie Baldwin says their office first learned about the issue on Saturday. On Tuesday, a field veterinarian went to the Canyon City facility and reviewed its biosecurity measures. After that, the Bureau of Land Management started separating and quarantining horses that developed this unknown disease from the herd. BLM is still trying to figure out the cause of the outbreak. They've submitted samples to a lab to learn more about the illness and the deaths caused by it. Now it's a waiting game. We spoke with BLM about the issue as well as a group concerned about BLM's treatment of the animals. This is a tough situation for horses. It's a tough situation for the BLM. It's a tough, situ tough situation for everybody who's involved. And we want to figure out what's going on and stop it as soon as possible. And we want to be transparent with the public as we go through that. This is a big deal because wild horses and wild burrows are federally protected animals in this country. They are um, culturally significant to who we are as Americans. They helped us build this country. And Stephen Hall there with BLM says that the deaths are concerning but that it's necessary to gather horses to prevent over overpopulation and damage to the public mm -hmm. lands. Yeah, they're so iconic in Colorado and across the western U.S. For some context, it was back in 1971. The population of wild horses on public lands declined significantly because of humans. To help manage, protect, and control the population, President Nixon then signed the Wild Free Roaming Horses and Burrow Act, and the law is still in effect today. It allows for BLM roundups. Back in September, Governor Polis reached out to the U.S. Department of the Interior asking for a six-month moratorium on the roundups. He was concerned with how frequently they were happening. The BLM says roundups are necessary because there are too many wild horses for the land to sustain them. Environmentalists, however, question if the horses are really the main concern. It seems to be that the livestock industry is scapegoating wild horses for rangeland damage that's actually being done by livestock, which calls into the question whether that appropriate management level has anything to do with a thriving natural ecological balance at all, or whether what it's really set at is to keep the wild horse populations low. Well, many of you have shared your thoughts. Uh, most of the comments we've received encourage the horses to be free. Yeah, Linda says what is happening right now is disgusting, atrocious, and needless. These wild horses should not be dying. These wild horses should not be in those feedlots. These wild horses should still be on the range. Allison writes, if I owned a bunch of animals and they all got sick or died, I would be investigated for animal abuse. Robert disagrees, though, saying feral horses deserve no protection. They should all be removed from the range to protect our native flora and fauna. And we want to hear from you. You can submit your opinions on our website, thedenverchannel.com. Email us at 360 at thedenverchannel.com or comment on our Facebook page.